today we're gonna be doing a tutorial i don't know if you guys know that like trend for editing on tiktok but it's like this warp blur effect um yeah i haven't really seen many tutorials on it much like all the trends on tiktok there's like zero tutorials so i wanted to do this to maybe i don't know it could help someone i don't know but anyways yeah let's get started okay so we're gonna look up this thing called pixel motion blur and let me tell you this takes forever to render i mean i guess it would depend how you render but we're not going to change any settings um you're just gonna pretty much like pre-comp nine times um you can do nine or twelve it just depends on like what you want um we're editing miss zendaya because i thought her picture looked nice so yeah like I said, it takes forever to pre-render, but this is the result. Some people may be satisfied with just how this looks. I mean, it's not horrible. It depends on what you're doing for the edit. It's kind of basic. It's kind of bland. And since it is, I'm going to put my own twist on it. Since I already taught you how to do it, that's pretty much the tutorial. But I am adding a zoom out. Um, I'm just not gonna like teach you, you know, like how to do it because I already did my part, you know, now it's up to you. So while I'm doing this, I wanna talk about TikTok and Instagram editors or whatever that debate is going on with editors, I don't even know. But people are saying like, TikTok editors can do velocity and like barely add anything to their edit and they get tons of views, which is technically true. But at the same time, who cares? Like editing is supposed to be fun. And while I can agree that it's like nice when your posts and stuff are like interacted with, that's cool. It's just, it's not exactly what it's all about. I don't really know. I do enjoy TikTok edits, um, the basic ones at least, like when it's velocity or whatever they're adding to their clip. I do enjoy those. So it's like, I'm not gonna complain that they barely do anything because I'm sure, you know, editing takes a lot of work whether um, it's just like velocity or whatever. It takes, it still takes time um, and they can get really creative. As for Instagram editors, I do know Instagram edits tend to be more complex, but it's really just Instagram's algorithm. Like there's nothing wrong with the edit. It's just the algorithm and it sucks, but can't really be helped um that debate doesn't really bother me though like tiktokers getting more views i don't really care what i do care about is like the editors who have like 48k and they lose like 20 followers and it's like the end of the world like do you know how many people have 100 followers and they're really really good it's just why would you complain like if you're at like 11k and you lose 10 followers you're fine you know people who have restarted their accounts and when they restart it takes a while for you to like gain back that same amount of following or just like a regular amount of following so when people like complain about followers and stuff and they have like tons of followers already it's just really weird now i'm trying to do this like tv effect if you guys have seen it um it should have been clint does it a lot for their tiktoks i'm trying to do it but i kind of forgot how to do it um it just i know it, i've done it before but i don't know i know you're supposed to put warp you're supposed to do the color thing i don't even know if i'm doing this right it just looks like it has borders and that's really it i mean i could size it i, I don't really know what i'm doing with this but i'm trying something um but back to like instagram and accounts and followers all that i know i said in my last video my account was kind of flopping but it's been doing really good lately. I posted a reel a couple weeks ago and it didn't, I mean, it got a few, it got a few interactions, but like, I don't know, out of the blue this week, people have been finding it and liking it and sharing it like crazy. And then before that, or after that, I posted an edit of Joker and Riddler, like the concept, because I know somebody else is supposed to be playing Joker in the... Mm, if they do a new film i think they're doing a new film um with joker being portrayed as younger but i did a concept edit of that and it did pretty well which is surprising because i didn't like it very much it kind of looks choppy but it was received well so i'm gonna let you in on a little secret 
with my RSMB. I'm going to give you my exact settings um, for my RSMB, but for those of you who don't know what it is, I'm going to teach you because I'm considerate. RSMB stands for Real Smart Motion Blur, um, which is kind of clever because they spell it with like R-E-E-L and not like R-E-A-L, but the okay, anyways, it stands for the same thing, but basically it adds as an extra motion blur. And now you may be thinking, Tati, I already add motion blur with the circle thingy, but this adds extra motion blur. Now some editors don't like doing this because they're like, oh, it's not actually smooth. Don't even listen to them. Don't talk to them because you still get those transitions. It's just like an assistance for your edits. I use RSMB all the time um, and I'm not ashamed because my edits look smooth without RSMB. It just adds a different, I don't really know, it adds a different effect to your edit. If I can, I'll put the plugin in the description for both Mac and Windows if I'm successful with finding it. But yeah, that was lessons with me. Hopefully it helps. Maybe. I don't really know. So you're going to make the top one and then the motion sensitivity 100. Now this may be too much RSMB sometimes. I even adjust it. Um, so it really just depends on like what you're going for. Sometimes it may glitch if it's too much. So just, you know, adjust it to your liking. I'm going to add my watermark even though I'm not posting this anywhere except YouTube. But I've learned like when you add deep glow to your watermark, it gives some sort of like weird, cool effect. So I've been doing that a lot lately because it's fun. I am struggling with this render process, but this is basically how it came out. And I'm, it doesn't look horrible. It actually looks pretty decent. Now, along with the pixel motion blur and RSMB, it does look like it's a bit too much. You could totally adjust it to your liking, but uh, I'm too lazy to, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, maybe subscribe and follow my Instagram, but yeah.